Okay, students, today we're going to learn about repetition statements. We're going to learn how to write a while loop. A while loop is a really powerful tool that you can use in programming. It allows you to uh, repeat certain parts of your code, certain sections of your code, uh, more than one time. This allows you to um, write much more efficient code because you can take certain parts of your code and repeat it uh, without having to actually write the code over and over again. So here's how you write a while loop. Uh, again, it's a repetition statement. And as with the if statement, a while loop just starts with uh, the word while. If statements begin with an if, while statements, while loops begin with a while. And immediately after the word while comes a set of parentheses inside that there's a condition the condition has to be either true or false. If it's true, then the code statements that are written inside the curly braces will be executed. If the condition inside the parentheses is false, then these code statements will not be run, they'll be ignored. So here's an example of some actual, an actual while statement. We're actually going to use uh, this kind of while loop in our program here in a moment. Inside uh, the parentheses is our conditional statement. Basically, it's saying if the variable or the value of the variable guess does not equal favorite number, then um, go ahead and execute the statements inside the curly braces here. So if this statement is true and the guess does not equal the favorite number, then the code will progress into the loop. And as we can see here, one of the things you can do is place other statements, like an if statement, inside the loop. In, this, in other words, we can nest our statements, one statement inside the other. And uh, the main thing to do when you do that is make sure you keep track of your opening and closing curly braces because they have to match up. You have to have an opening and curly brace for each one of these types of statements. And you should always indent your code so that if one item like this if statement is placed inside another item like the while loop, then it should all be indented in a little bit further to keep uh, all the braces, curly braces, lined up. So here we have an if statement inside a while loop. All right, so let's go back to a program that we wrote last week. And that program uh, had to do with guessing a favorite number. I'm going to run the program here real quick you should recognize it. You were to have programmed in your favorite number and then um, prompt the user to guess what your number was. And uh, so it worked like this. You greeted the person, uh, asked them to enter an, enter, en enter an integer. So I'll enter in a number 44. And uh, it'll say, oh, sorry, your guess is too high. Goodbye. Press any key to continue and the program closes. Now, as you learned last week when you're doing that, that's kind of irritating because if you want to guess the number, you have to keep running the program over and over again in order to finally uh, narrow it in on the, the chosen favorite number. In this case, my favorite number is 13. And so uh, eventually I could guess it if I kept running the program. But what if we were to, instead of um, making the person run the program over and over again, we could actually repeat this bit of code down here where they enter uh, a guess. Um, maybe from here where we ask them to enter a whole number and we uh, receive their guess and store it in a variable and then go through the if statements to determine if it's too low, too high, or just right. And so what if we could repeat all that over and over again and then only stop doing it when they've actually guessed the favorite number? Well, this is how we do it. We would use an, a while loop to do that. First of all, um, I'm, the program will be the same up to this point. Uh, I do need to give the val variable guess a value, so I'm going to go ahead and give it an initial value of 0, okay? So as if the program hasn't been run yet and just gets an initial value. And then I'm going to come down here and decide where I put the while loop. The best place to put it is right in front of the code um, where, where you want the repetition to begin. Well, I don't want to welcome the user every time. Um, however, right after this line here, where I prompt them to enter a whole number between 1 and 100, 1 and 100 that would be a good place to begin my loop because that's, I want to ask them that or prompt them to enter a number every single time um, uh, every, in, in every loop of the code. So I'm going to start my while loop here. I'll enter 
uh, space, I'll go um, while, as we learned earlier, and then I put a set of parentheses. Inside that parentheses, I need to put a condition that's either true or false. Um, now again, I want to constantly compare the guess that the person gives to their favorite number that's stored here. So what I can do is say something like this, while guess, uh, how about does not equal the fav favorite number, then I want the loop to continue ru running. And so I'll go down the line, I'll put in my opening curly brace, and then I have to put in a closing curly brace. But now where do I put it? Well, I have to put it at the very end of the block of code that I want to repeat over and over again. Well, I want all of this um, to be repeated. I want to enter the guess. I want all my if statement portions uh, of code to be repeated. However, I don't want to say goodbye every time. So I guess right here, right before the line that states goodbye, I'll put the closing curly brace. We can see it's kind of gray and it matches up with this opening curly brace that's kind of gray. However, the indenting hasn't been done yet, and all these things here should be indented a little bit to set them apart from the while loop. Well, there's a really nice way to do that. If you come up here to the Edit menu, and it comes down, you can see Format Selection. Um, actually, I have to make a selection first. I'll go Control-A to select all, and then I'll say File, excuse me, Edit, Format Selection. Watch what happens. This whole section of code here that's inside the loop has now been indented, okay, because the program understands that the code inside a while loop should be indented. Perfect. All right, so basically all this code in here will be repeated over and over again until guess equals the favorite number, okay, because I'm telling it to repeat while the, the guess does not equal that. Once it does equal the favorite number, then this loop will end. It'll come out here and say goodbye, and the program will close. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to save, press F5 to build. All right, now the program opens, and let's see what we got. Again, I get the greeting. It asks me to enter a number between 1 and 100. I'll put in, oh, 50. Split the difference. It's too high. Hmm. Well, let's go down. Uh, split the difference again, 25. Still too high. Hmm. Well, maybe to, I'll go down to 10. Well, now my guess is too low. So it's somewhere between 10 and 25. How about 15? Oops, too high. Well, again, we'll cut cut to the chase. I know what my number is. It's 13. But if, even if I didn't know, I'd eventually be able to narrow in on it. Put in 13, and sure, sure enough. Wow, way to go. You guessed it. Now you know my favorite number. And then look at this. The loop is no longer repeating because now I get the greeting that says, or the message says goodbye, press any key to continue, and the program ends. So what has happened is at the beginning, favorite number and guest did not equal each other, and so this condition is true. They don't equal each other, so it comes into the loop and begins to run this code. But then when I actually guess the number, uh, it, it comes down here and prints out the message that I guessed it, but then it also right here at the end of the while loop, it realizes by looking at this condition that the guess and the favorite number do equal each other. So it skips the rest of the code on that final loop and it comes out here and it just prints goodbye and ends the program. That's how a while loop works. I'd like you to edit your favorite number program so that you get the same results I do by using a while loop to repeat your code and make your game a much more interesting game to play. Alright, look forward to seeing your finished code.